Okay, pop quiz. Look at these two zebras. This one is ID number 2493, but let's call him Dan. And this is zebra ID number 1308. We'll call her Samantha. Take a good look at them. Now, can you recognize them in this herd? Are they even there at all? Are you wondering, why does this matter? Hi, my name is Jason. I'm a computer programmer and conservationist in Oregon. I use artificial intelligence to help scientists know how to protect animal species. The reason why it's so important to identify Dan and Samantha in the herd is because it allows scientists to know if the total number of animals is growing or shrinking. If their numbers are too low, they can be placed on the international red list of threatened animal species. For a long time, the way that scientists measured animal populations has been done through a process called mark for capture. Scientists will corral a certain number of animals, mark them in some way, and then release them back into the wild. And then next year, the scientists return to the same spot and count how many of them were previously marked. Using complex equations, they're able to know if the population is healthy or in trouble. The problem with marker capture is that it's really difficult to do and takes a lot of time. Years and years of research, in fact, and it often involves hurting an animal with a tag. Yet it's essential that scientists measure animal populations because thousands of animal species are in rapid decline. Some of the most beautiful and iconic animals we know are on the edge of extinction and will most likely be gone forever in our lifetime. Throughout history, scientists have identified five mass extinction events that wiped out millions of animals around the world. Many scientists believe that we're in the midst of a sixth extinction event, except this time, the extinction is being caused by us. There are numerous instances where populations have rebounded after a time of protection. But every day counts, and we have to identify endangered species more quickly so we can protect them. How would you solve this problem? 